A Texas-based company that typically cleans mattresses is now using its technology to clean N95 masks. Fox 44's Brian Glenn shows us how many of those masks are making their way into hospitals right here in Central Texas. What point did you guys decide to pivot and go this direction? Um, we, re we realized there was a shortage of these PPE masks um, and that prices were going up. And so um, I started looking at these masks and realized that I think I could sanitize these the same thing we sanitize other things in our machine. And so in about 48 hours, we built a rack to hang these things on, ran them through our machine, tested them and realized like, okay, we're successful at this. Walk me through the process. What does it take? How long does it take to get these masks sanitized? We built a rack that can hold anywhere between 165 to 200 masks at a time. And the process takes about 12 minutes. And so we use, use a high concentration of ultraviolet C light and a little bit of heat to maintain about a 90 to 100 degree temperature in the chamber. So we remove any moisture. Let's fast forward. What do you think you guys are at uh, maybe a year from now, and where do you see your company going as we kind of go into this new way of uh, normal? Sure. So, yeah, I think there's going to be a ripple effect, right, of what's the new normal. Um, I think people should have always worried about sanitation, but now with this pandemic are more focused on it, and it's real. So I think that a year from now, we're going to be sanitizing more things than we thought that we needed to sanitize. We're going to be doing it more frequently, and we're also going to look at the fact that this PPE shortage is a big issue. And so if we can utilize this mask 5, 10, 20 times, why not, right? Why, do we, um, why don't we reduce the impact to our environment, um, create a longer life cycle for these masks, especially with the cost? I don't think the cost is going to come down sharply, even though I think when we get through this coronavirus, I think there's still going to be a price point issue and a, a supply issue. Michael, thanks for your time today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.